If the area of the large rectangle is 147 square units, what is the perimeter of the shaded region, meaning the perimeter of this orange rectangle? Assume all dimensions are whole numbers. So to keep things organized, let's call this a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, and therefore a sub four would be the area of the orange rectangle. Let's begin by determining the area of the orange rectangle, then we'll work on determining the dimensions of the larger and smaller rectangles. So a sub four would have to be equal to the area of the large rectangle, which we know is 147 square units, minus the area of these three small rectangles. So we'd have minus 48, minus 15, minus 28, which equals 56. So a sub four is equal to 56 square units. And now let's consider the dimensions of the larger rectangle. We know the area of a rectangle is equal to length times width, and we know the area of this large rectangle equals 147 square units. So by considering the factors of 147, we can determine the possible dimensions of the larger rectangle, which will then help us determine the dimensions of each smaller rectangle. So if we know the rectangle has an area of 147, the dimensions could be one unit by 147 units, but that's probably not likely. To determine other possibilities for the dimensions, let's look at the prime factorization of 147. 147 is equal to three times 49, which means the dimensions could be three units by 49 units. And if we break down 49 into seven times seven, we now know the prime factorization of 147 is three times seven times seven. Notice how this tells us that 21 times seven, or seven times 21, would also give us 147. So the larger rectangle could have dimensions seven by 21. Now see if all of these dimensions are possible given these areas. Because we're told all dimensions are whole numbers, the shortest length for any side of a rectangle would have to be one unit. So notice how if this was one unit and this was one unit, this length would be two units, which is obviously more than one unit, and therefore the dimensions of the large rectangle could not be one by 147. Now see if it could be three by 49. Looking at the area of these small rectangles, because 15 has less factors than 48, 56, and 28, the only possible dimensions for this small rectangle here would be one by 15, which we know can't be the case. That means it has to be a three by five rectangle. So this would have to be three units, and this would have to be five units. But if this is three units here, and we still have this remaining length, there's no way the larger rectangle could be three by 49 units. So we can also eliminate the dimensions of three by 49 for the larger rectangle, which means the larger rectangle must have dimensions seven by 21, which means this length here must be seven units, and this longer length here must be 21 units. Now that we know this, everything should fall into place. We now know this length must be three units, and therefore the opposite length must also be three units. So if this is three units, and we know the area of this rectangle is 48, since three times 16 is equal to 48, this length here must be 16. And notice how we could also have taken the length of 21 and subtracted five to obtain 16 here as well. And now looking at these lower two rectangles, if we know this longer length is seven units and this length is three units, that means this length here must be four units, and so with the opposite length, and because the area is equal to 28 square units and four times seven equals 28, this length must be seven units. And from here, if the total length is 21 units and this length is seven, 21 minus seven is equal to 14, and therefore this length must be 14 units. And just to double check, notice how 14 times four is equal to 56. So now we have all the information we need. We can now determine the perimeter of this orange rectangle. To find the perimeter of a rectangle, we add the length of the four sides, or we can say that the perimeter is equal to two times the length plus two times the width. So the perimeter 
is equal to 2 times 14 plus 2 times 4, which is equal to 28 plus 8, which equals 36. And this is a length, so it would be units, not square units. I hope you found this helpful.